change your heart, change your life, change the planet. Hey everybody, it's TVO coming to you from my backyard. And I wanted to talk today about different types of running and where you might find your best performance. Something I learned back in 2006 when I first started this journey is that I'm not a great road runner. And regardless of how much I train, I'm never going to be world class as a road runner, nor on the track. But what I did discover back then in 2006 is that I'm a really good stair climber. I've got natural stair climbing abilities. So for quite a few years, I trained and competed on an elite level in the sport of stair climbing. And at the same time, I tried mountain running, trail running, and snowshoeing eventually, and discovered that I'm a decent mountain runner, I'm an amazing trail runner, and I'm a pretty darn good snowshoer. And people will often say to me that trail running, mountain running, snowshoeing, they're not real running sports, that the real runners run on the road or run on the track, and that those real runners would destroy these mountain trail and snowshoe runners if they showed up to races. And that's not the case. Sometimes that's true, but these sports are really different sports. You can't take a really fast road runner and put them on a trail and get the same performance that you would on the road because there's a new set of skills that they have to learn. There's new muscles. There's new angles of load and force and there's a different neuromuscular uh, networking that has to be built in order for someone to be able to move their feet and navigate the terrain very quickly at a high speed. So what I've come to discover, especially this past weekend at the U.S. Mountain Running Championships, where I placed 12th overall at the age of 49, there were a lot of guys behind me that are incredible road runners. One in particular who I was really surprised when I passed him is a 220 marathoner. He's won some pretty big marathons in the US, large city marathons, uh, running 220 on several occasions. And he was behind me. No way I could ever run a 220 marathon on the road. Just not gonna happen. I don't have the body for it. But you put me in a trail or a mountain or on snowshoes or in a building with stairs and I have a totally different skill set. So the point of this conversation is this. You might be working really hard in a running sport that doesn't suit you and you're not seeing the gains that you want. Meanwhile, your buddy doing the same training with the same coach, same miles, is excelling way beyond you. And that's not because you're doing it wrong. It's that that sport isn't suited for you, but it is suited for your buddy. So my recommendation is that you find the running sport that best suits your abilities, that best suits your mental interest as well. If you're not interested in hammering out intervals on the track, but you don't mind the pain of running up a steep mountain on a trail, well then maybe you're a trail runner, maybe you're a mountain runner. And the level of engagement that you're willing to commit to on a trail is gonna give you much greater performance than if you try to be a track or road runner and you just aren't doing the workouts because it's too mentally or cognitively exhausting because you're confronted by the workout. Whereas out here on a trail, I don't mind running hard, I don't mind pushing, I don't mind breathing, I don't mind my heart coming out of my chest. For some reason, the natural environment changes me and I get a much higher level of performance out of myself in this type of environment. And I also get to use a skill set that I can't use on the road or on a track. So uh, it used to bug me when people would say, oh, you're not a real runner. You do those wimpy running sports, but they're not wimpy. There were a lot of guys at the mountain championship who thought they were going to clean house because they got some mad road speed, but put them on a mountain and just not happening. We're not seeing that speed. 
but some of the guys in the race, like Joe Gray, who won the championships. Joe, I think he may be sub 29, 10K, so the dude's got wheels. Um, and he's won the U.S. Cross Country Championships and won a lot of uh, other running sports, World Snowshoe Champion as well. So Joe's an all-around talented guy, but you don't always see that. You see some really fast people that don't do well when the terrain changes because they don't have the skill or they don't have the practice at it. So this also applies to distances. Maybe you're never gonna have high end or top end speed, but you can grind all day at a seven minute mile or an eight minute mile in a hundred mile race. So try that out. Find the thing that works best for you. Find the event, find the distance that suits your abilities. And don't do it for a week or a month or even six months. Try each of them for a year, two years before you really get to see what your skills are, before you really get to develop those skill sets. Trail running, for instance, requires a lot of technical skill, which you want to be on autopilot. You don't want it to be up here in the front of the brain being cognitively processed. You don't want to think about where to put your feet. In fact, you don't even want to be looking at the ground beneath your feet. You want to be looking about 20 feet ahead. So you're not looking down. You're looking straight ahead 20 feet and your brain is taking a picture of the terrain that you're about to run through and then it sends it to other parts of the brain that do all that processing. So you're not even aware what you're stepping on consciously, but the unconscious parts of your brain, the habitual automatic parts of your brain, they're taking care of that. But that takes time. That's not immediate. So. The fast road guy, he's gonna have good tempo, he's gonna have good cadence, he's gonna have some great lungs and a big heart, but he's not gonna have that neuromuscular skill that allows him to move really quickly over treacherous, uneven, unpredictable terrain. And that is a skill set. So if you find yourself struggling in a sport, Maybe there's a variant of that sport, running, cycling, etc., that allows you to develop some skills or to take advantage of some skills that you naturally possess that allow you to compete at a higher level. And this has been something that I've really benefited from, especially in the sport of stair climbing, where I can compete with the best 20 year olds in the world. But I could never do that on the road or on the track. So find your sport, find your passion, find the thing that you love to hurt at, find the pain that you're willing to endure in an environment that you love to be in. And you'll see all kinds of games that you never thought possible. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it, help me out on Patreon. The link is right here in the description below. And for just two bucks a month, you get to help me make more videos, keep this project alive and growing, and I'll throw you some content that's not available anywhere else. All right, I love you guys. See ya.